Okay, hey everybody. So today what I wanna talk about are the summer crops that I'm focusing on this year. Now last year I did a whole lot of different um, plants. I, again, that was my first year. I didn't really know what to plant. Um, I was really, to be completely honest, just shooting in the dark. And this year I find, I think I'm a little bit more zoned in on what I want to plant. So I'm going to be heavy on okras, beans, pole beans, heat tolerant beans. And uh, I mean, obviously I've already planted the sweet potatoes um, and peppers. Those are the big three that I'm focused on. Now the peppers I've already, for the most part, planted. They've been in since, you know, spring. Um, the sweet potatoes, you, if you all have been following the channel, you saw that I've done a few video, a couple videos on the sweet potatoes and they are going nuts. I am so excited about that, but they love the heat. So the heat should really help. And right now in Houston, the heat, like I said, yes, uh, the other day is brutal, brutal. So, um, they should do really good <laughs> to say the least, but I'm going to focus my summer crops on okras. Now I've already got, um, well, you know what, when we go look. Okay, everyone, so before we go any further in this video, I have a Facebook and Instagram page for this channel where I try to update with pictures every day, every other day throughout the summer. Just type in Down Home Backyard Gardening to either Facebook or Instagram and you'll find the channel. I also invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Now, if you're just not quite sure about what you're seeing right now, check out some of my other videos and see if my quality of content meets what you're looking for as far as a gardening community. Again, I'm a brand new gardener. This is my second year. Everything that I do kind of comes from a beginner gardener experience, but I am learning a lot and I am sharing everything that I am learning. I am not keeping anything to myself. Uh, failures and successes, I show them because I feel it's very important to show the entire gambit of gardening. And gardening is not always easy. It does not always produce. And sometimes you have epic failures, which I've had and I have shown. So if that sounds like a channel you're down for watching, please hit the subscribe button and then hit that little notification button so you know every time I upload a video. So that being said, let's get back to the video. Right now I've got these okras in and then these are an Okinawan pink okra. I cannot wait for these to grow and see how they look. But these are just a regular, I think these are the heavy hitter okras. So they're supposed to grow a lot. And I've got this cage up because when the okra gets tall, I want them to be braced. I don't want them falling all over the place. And then I'm also gonna add another one in the middle of what I have here, right in the center. But as you can see, I've already got my first okra growing right there. See that beautiful flower? That is an okra flower. One thing I didn't know about okras is they put on some beautiful flowers. I've already so. got these okras coming in and then I have some more over there. Okay, also, since we're talking about summer crops, I wanna ask you all a question. Now the conventional wisdom is you take out your tomato plants once the sun and the heat really come because it stunts the growth of the plant or it stops the production of the flowers which will then produce the fruits. But I have all of these tomato plants producing tomatoes. I mean just look down in there. Tomatoes, tomatoes, and this is a brand new one. I just saw that one just now tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. So my question is, what do you all think? Should I leave the tomatoes in and just take them through summer? Or should I yank them out so I have room for other, um, so I have room for other crops? Also, this is the single seed challenge tomato plants. And look how big they are. I mean, look at that. I've kind of just let them do their thing, but they are sprawling. Now I'll be completely honest. The tomato, my single seed tomato plants are not putting on flowers right now. I think the heat is definitely affecting them. But I don't exactly want to yank them out yet. Obviously, for certain reasons, which as a gardener, you kind of get attached to your plants a little bit, which is probably not the best thing. But when you're doing a single seed challenge where you're focused on one seed and only that seed, it makes it kind of hard that once you put all that love and care into growing the plant to just yank it out. So I'm kind of torn on what to do here. Again, 
comments down below would be great as we are a community here on YouTube with the Down Home Backyard Gardening channel, I value your input. So, give me some input. <laughs> okay, so that's what's going on out there in the garden. Now, what I'm going to do is I wanna plant more okra. I've got some emerald okra here, some Clemson spineless okra. Um, oh, that okra over there is supposed to be the Star of David okra. Look that up, because I don't have the uh, packet anymore to show you but google that go to baker creek or just google uh, star of david okra it's a six-sided um okra plant hopefully they grow because i'm excited to see those um, again on this channel i want to do stuff that's kind of out of the ordinary um you know stuff that gets me excited like you just saw i just because that's what it was it's this star of david okra more emerald okras i'm going to try some cucumbers uh, these are supposed to be able to be planted in June. It's June right now, so I'm going to get these in the ground later today. And I'm at least going to test and see if these things will grow um, in this heat. I, they, they might not, but what do you have to lose, right? only thing you have to gain are a bunch of cucumbers. And the final things that I'm focused on, besides the peppers and everything that's already planted, are beans. I've got these Kentucky Wonder Beans. I don't know how high they'll grow, but it does say you need a trellis for them, so I'm assuming they're gonna get four, five, six feet tall, and they put on these long six to uh, seven to nine inch pods right here. So I got a bunch of these. Um, they're going in the ground today. You gotta get them planted. And then some of these golden wax beans. Now these are bush beans, and I'm just gonna put them in areas where I need nitrogen fixation to occur uh, to start helping the soil and to start helping the soil for fall, which brings me to that topic right now. Now it's the middle of June. It's 100 plus degrees here in Houston all the time now, super hot. And the last thing most people are thinking about is their fall garden. Now's the time to start thinking about your fall garden. Start figuring out what plants you want to focus on for the fall slash winter. Because here in Texas, in this part of Texas, we don't really have a winter. Um, and what I noticed last year is what I planted for the fall actually did fine throughout the winter. So my goal this year is I'm going to focus on my fall winter, my fall slash winter crops. And now's the time. So start going through your seed containers, figuring out, hey, what do I want to grow in the fall? What plants are best in those temperatures and start planting them now. If you need to order your seeds for the fall, do it now before the massive rush of people are like, ah, oh, I gotta get my seeds for fall. And then Baker Creek or Gurney or wherever you, uh, Seeds for Generations or, you know, wherever you get your seeds get overwhelmed and they lose stock. So order now, like now, mid-June, start focusing on fall. And I think I said this last year throughout the seasons, about six to eight weeks from the next season is when you should be planning that next season or not planting i'm sorry preparing for that next season so um, you're always wanting to be a step ahead like in chess start thinking moves down the road not checkers y'all get me <laughs> okay everyone so that's the video for today again another short video um, it's just too hot for me to be out here for long periods of time doing videos or having the cameras out in the sun. And uh, so I'm, I'm doing short, but I'm trying to really nail the uh, point of the videos as quickly and as concisely as I can. I hope that's coming through to everybody. Like I said a few days ago in the YouTube short, just stick with me. I am going to start producing more videos again. I took, uh, I did have a little bit of a lull there where I think it was one week I only produced one video or I only shared one video. Um, I'm sure y'all can understand, I don't do this for a living. I wish I did. <laughs> uh, I mean, what YouTuber would not love to just do this for their living? And some are blessed to be able to do that. So uh, good for them, hopefully one day. But, um, you know, I have a full-time job. I'm busy all the time. And um, I'm doing everything I can to get out here to produce the videos that I want to produce with the quality of my channel uh, everyone if you enjoyed this video man do me a favor hit this like button share the video with someone who might 
want to, some ideas about producing or uh, what to grow what to grow in the summertime. That's all I got for this video. I hope this was educational for everyone um, or at least gave you some ideas of what to grow in the fall. I'm sorry, what to grow in the summer and then start preparing for fall. So with that so. being said, everyone, shine bright and harvest hard. Bye. All right, everybody, before we go any further, I would like to take a moment to let you all know, hey, I have a YouTube, uh, I have a YouTube channel, well, yeah. Um, 